Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Today's video is part of an amazing playlist. I will have more on that in just a bit. So for my first project, I wanted to recreate these beautiful hearts from Amazon. They were $19.99 each. So I have these two hearts that I got during the Valentine's Day season at the Dollar Tree. And I am just heating up the back to get all of these stickers off. And then I'm taking my finger sander and just going over where the adhesive is still on the back. And then once I got all of that off, I'm taking a few different colors. I'm using white, mineral, uh, elephant, the ink, and then ocean from Waverly. They are all chalk paints. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some stripes. And I didn't like measure anything out. I'm just kind of randomly putting the stripes on these hearts. So now a couple of the stripes were a little bit bigger than I wanted. So I just took a bunch of the colors and just kind of mixed them all together and created this other color, which I used just to kind of trim down some of those stripes. Then I'm just going to take a sponge and I'm just going to dab around the edge of both of the hearts with the ocean color. Then I'm taking some of this contact paper I believe I got at Walmart. I'm not 100% positive about that, but I'm pretty sure. And I'm just cutting out two squares, which are going to um, go on the back of these hearts. I did try to pull the, the paper that was on it off, and it, they just, it didn't come off, as you can see there. So I'm just going to take some of this contact paper and cover the back right up so that it has a more finished look. And once they're all stuck down, I'm just gonna take my finger sander and go all the way around and it just comes off like a breeze. And then I'm gonna take one of these chippy brushes that I got off of Amazon. They are in my storefront. The link for that is down in the description box. And I'm just doing a dry brush on top of the hearts. And I think it looks so beautiful just as it is. But I'm going to take it up a notch. And I cut out the word family and the word home. And I used my Cricut. And I'm just going to put those right on the front of both of the hearts.
Once I get all of the vinyl on, I am just going to take some Mod Podge and go over it just to seal everything. And this is the finished product. I absolutely love them. So Amazon was charging $20 a piece and I did mine for maybe $3 including the paint and the vinyl. Let me know what you guys think. So as I said earlier, this video is part of a playlist. It is called Look for Less. It's hosted by Yami from The Latina Next Door. If you have not seen her, and I don't know how you couldn't, but I will have her link as well as the playlist in the description box down below. Go check her out. And if you could, let her know I sent you. So this next project is from Williams Sonoma Home and it was $195, guys. I knew I could do something similar for a whole lot less. So I'm taking this wood block that I got from the Dollar Tree as well as this metal flower and I'm just detaching the flower from the welcome sign. So then I'm just going to take the petals of the flower and I'm just going to kind of bend them in an upward position. And then I'm going to take some of the white Waverly chalk paint and I give the entire flower three coats of the chalk paint and I do the back side of the petals as well. And then I also give the wooden block just one coat of the chalk paint as well. Now the flower has those two holes from where it was hanging. So I just took a little bit of hot glue and kind of filled those in and just painted it with the white chalk paint as well. And now I'm taking a couple of these little wooden pieces. They came in a bag with a bunch of other different shapes. And I'm just going to use some of that um, cement all stuff from Dollar Tree and some hot glue to attach that wooden piece so that I have a way to attach the flower itself to this wooden block. And then I just take a little bit of hot glue and I just glue it right on top of that wooden block. And then I decide to take some of the mineral chalk paint and do a dry brushing on the petals. And then the center piece I just do with the gray. And that's it. I think it came out super cute. I'm kind of torn whether I should have left it all white or if the dry brushing of the mineral looks good. So let me know what you guys think about that one. So I'm saving the best for last. I absolutely fell in love with this piece. It's from Wayfair. It was $120 and I knew I could do something similar for a whole lot less. So I'm taking these really big popsicle <laughs> not popsicle sticks, stir sticks from Lowe's. They come three in a pack for like 98 cents. And well, they're probably more than that now. But anyway, <laughs> so I took three packs and I am just going to line them all up. And then I have some of the smaller stir sticks and I'm just going to use two of those as well. So I line them up with the handle kind of going in a, you know, left to right position.
kind of thing. And then I'm taking some wood glue and I'm just going down the side of each of the sticks so that I can glue them all together. And I just made sure that the ruler part of it was all facing in the same direction so I could use that as the back of this picture. And then I'm just taking some of the wood glue and some hot glue and I'm just going to um, place the smaller sticks on the back just kind of as a brace and also just to um, give it more strength, I guess. So now I'm flipping it over and I got these beautiful rub-on transfers from Amazon. They are in my storefront. The link will be in the description box, as I said earlier. And I wanted to take all three of them out just to show you guys. And I ended up deciding to use this particular one. Now I know it's not all eucalyptus like the original, but I think this is beautiful. So I didn't do anything to the stir sticks. I left them the natural wood color and then I'm just going to use these rub on transfers. And I have to tell you, these Rebon transfers are so amazing. They're so easy to use and they're just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. How stunning. I love this. This whole piece. Like, I love this piece. Anyway, <laughs> so I took some of the smaller sections and used them kind of around the center portion if that makes any sense it will it at the end you'll see <laughs>
How beautiful. Oh my goodness, I'm so in love with this piece. So I have one of those D-ring hanger things. And so I'm just measuring so that I can find the center. And I'm just going to put one screw in. And that's how I am going to hang this piece. And that's it. Look at how gorgeous. Oh, so I took a blade. I didn't show it, I don't think, but I did kind of cut where the transfer was hanging over in those sections, like right there. Anyway, um, and then I do afterwards, I do a coat of Mod Podge over the top, just the matte Mod Podge, and that's it. I am so in love with this piece. Let me know what you guys think. So I would like to thank Yami for hosting this amazing playlist this was so much fun. I love making dupes. I think it's so fun. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps me out. If you're new to my channel or coming over from the playlist, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. And share, share, share with your family and friends. And I will see you next time.